Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video is in continuation with our SQL coding interview question series. In this series, we are bringing SQL coding questions which were already asked in past in various interviews. So if you prepare these questions well, it is sure that you will be able to crack most of the SQL coding interview rounds with great ease. So if you like this concept of ours, then please subscribe to our channel so that you will be fully prepared for your upcoming interviews. Let's move on to the question now. So you can see the question in front of your screen. So in the given question, we are given employee data having start date and end date of every employee in the organization. And the problem statement says write a query to output number of employees in the organization for every month. That is for every month, we have to write the number of employees in that particular month. And also it says that give the results in the format which is given in the sample output. So this is the format which is given. So let's say if it is 2020-01 that says the year is 2020 and month is 01. Similarly for 2020-04 the year is 2020 and month is 04. And also one more very important thing is here. We have given a note that is you can ask for any additional information if required. So you can see this is the sample input which is given to us that is employee id start date and end date and we have to produce the sample output in the this format from the given data now let's see the approach on how to solve this question so first of all there can be multiple ways to solve this problem so we will discuss two of them so in the first approach what we will do we will ask for this additional information so here it says that we can ask for any additional information if required so we will ask for additional information and what is that additional information that is date table we will ask for the date table because once we have the date table it will become a lot more easier to solve this question so let's see how to solve this question using the date table so you can see here this is our approach one so what we are going to do here is so where we are using employee table and the date table and we are using inner join on the employee table and the date table using this date id so date id from the date table and start date and end date from the employee table using this we will do inner join in such a way that it will decompose this employee table into multiple entries so how we are doing this so this we will see in the code so the in the logical way what i can say here let's say if we have employee id as 107556 so start date for this employee is 2020 and end date is 2020 so you can just focus on this employee id as of now so what we will do we will decompose it in such a way that it will create multiple entries for this single record so here 107 then 2020 so like this it will be till 2020 after that we will go to another record which is 101 and start date is 2020 and date is 2020 so for this also we will decompose this single record into multiple records like this 101 then 2020 then 2020 and then 11 so like this we will do for all the entries in this table so this is our step one in step two what we will do so let's see so step two is simple only so what we will do in the step two we will do group by date column so we will use this date column we will do group by and we will take the count of employees employee id so it will give us like date and count of employees so in this way we will get the desired output which is 2020-01 and the number of employees in this 01 month after the number of employees in 02 number of employees in 03 like that we will get till 2020-012 so this is our approach one now in the approach two we will solve this question in a bit different way so how we will do that so let's see so here we are given with a note that is we can ask for any additional information if required so let's consider a situation when we are not provided with this clause that is we can't use date table or any external table so we have only this employee table and we have to go to this output using this employee table so how we are going to solve the question in that situation that we will see now 
so that we will see using this approach so here what we will do here we will use this employee table and what we will do using this employee table we will use a concept called as recursive CTE so using recursive CTE we will do the similar task which we have done in approach 1 but there we use date table here we will not use date table using recursive CTE we will take this uh, record 1 and what we will do we will decompose it into multiple records like here so like this we will do this thing and after that we will go to the record 2 and we will decompose this record 2 also into multiple records so this is how we will solve it using approach 2 so once we have this table handy then what we will do we will do the similar task which we have done in the approach 1 that is what we will do we will do the group by by date once we will do group by by date and count by employees so then we will get the number of employees for a particular month so these are the two approach which we are going to use for solving this query now let's see the SQL code to solve this problem so at first here I have imported the Excel employee data as table to our SQL server so if you want to know that how to do that then you can check my old video for that as well I have put the link to those videos in my description box also I have put the link to excel file containing employee and date excel sheets in the description box so you can download that excel sheet import that as table to your SQL server and after that you can run query on that so at first let me show you the data in our employee table yeah so you can see this is the data in our employee table having three columns employee id start date and end date now as discussed we will solve it in two approaches in approach one we will follow the two step process that is the first step will be firstly we will decompose every record in the employee table into multiple records let's say this is the record one having 107 556 2020 and 2020 so it will get decomposed into multiple records so this is the query for that which i have highlighted so let me run this query first yeah so you can see this is uh, this query is decomposing the table into multiple records yeah so we are getting around 40 records and after that what we will do we will group by date id and we will count the employee id so let me run the complete query now yeah so you can see this is the final output which we are expecting so for every month we are getting the number of employees yeah so this is the approach one to solve this problem in approach two as discussed we will use a concept of recursive cte so using that concept there is no need to use additional date table we will only use the employee table and using that we will create a decomposed table so this is the recursive cte query for creating the decomposed table so let me show you the records in that decomposed table first select star from decomposed table yeah so when we run this we will get to know the records in that decomposed table yeah so these are the number of records there we here we are getting 40 records in the decomposed table it is similar to what we are getting in the approach one also but here the ordering is not proper so once we will get this uh, decomposed table after that we will simply group by the start date that is we will write a query which will be grouping the records by start date and counting the number of employees by employee id or count of star anything we can write here so once this is done now let me show you the complete query for that also yeah so here yeah this is the query for getting the number of employees for every month so the uh, result is very much similar to what we are getting the approach one also so this is the recursive cte query so actually it is creating a temporary table we can say which is known as decomposed table and after that we are writing a query for that decomposed table only here if you want the detailed explanation on how recursive cte works then you can let us know in the comment section we will try to create a separate video for that as well so that's it about this video guys if you have liked the video then please subscribe to our channel so that we will get motivation to create more and more videos like this and also if you have any doubts then please do let us know in the comment section we will try to solve it out for you guys so thanks guys thanks for watching